Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I see uh, you've got levels. Okay, cool. I only asked because we forgot last time. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, no, it looks like uh, it's, it's working this time. Okay. All right, five, four, three. We oh, we were live. Okay, well, you know what? There's a little behind the scenes. Oopsies. <laughs> First, live, local. This is Fox 12 Now. Surprise, you got a little bit of behind the scenes there. Hello everyone, this is Fox 12 Now. I'm Greg Nibbler, thank you for joining us. Uh, we appreciate everybody who's tuning in on whatever platform you're watching on. And right now, as you can see, I'm not here by myself. No. We've got Katie with us. Uh, yeah, Katie, I really appreciate you being able to come yeah. over here. And I think it's pretty obvious for everybody here in the Northwest right now, uh, it's raining a lot. Yes, we have <laughs> seen quite a bit of rain over just, so what are we on the sixth day of the month here? And we have seen almost our entire month's worth of rainfall in just those six days. And we have more that we are expecting. That is, it's a lot going on. And mm -hmm. of course we've been covering it all here. Uh, for Fox 12 Oregon. I do have some some videos here just of some of the flooding that was happening you know, just north of us. Um, you know, taking a look at this, just a massive amounts of water um, all over the place here yeah. of, of what's going on, just all kinds of scenes like this of, of different flooding. I know the Coast Guard had to rescue, I believe it was five people yesterday that, that could have been mm -hmm. updated since then, but mm -hmm. you know, a lot, uh, mm -hmm. a lot happening with this. And that's why I'm glad that you can join us here to just kind of walk yeah. through this a little bit more. So yeah, we can so it. I quickly grabbed what I could think of that I thought would be important to talk about here. So I have some numbers for you to see as we go through the rest of the day. So this is where we're at. So if you look at this, it's 5.38 for the month. So that number right there is everything we've seen Friday all the way through today. And you can see how much this is since midnight last night. So the rain that we've had overnight, it stopped counting at midnight for yesterday and then kicked in for today. Wow. Typical in December, by this time, we only have about an inch. So not very much. You can see where we're at with that. And then last year, we didn't even have two tenths of an inch by this time. So quite a bit for you there. As we take a look at the flooding, we were talking about the potential for the floods that we're looking at right here. The good yeah. news is, is several of the coastal rivers, unfortunately, are still in flood stage, but we've dropped back on those. Wilson and all the way down to Grace, these were the two that had the highest numbers that we were receiving as far as flood levels rising, and they're both back into the minor, which is really good. So let's take a look here at um, basically Oh, we have some up to the north even. I didn't even realize that was in there. There you go. So everybody's in minor. That's a good thing. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you is where we have all of this flood watch in place. This was extended till 4 o'clock today. So that's all these areas that you see west of the Cascades continuing to rain this morning and into the afternoon. We've melted so much snow up on the mountain. I, if I have time, I'll grab one of those cameras and show you. And then, of course, basically what we've been seeing for most of the flooding that's been possible has been in the creeks and rivers, and we have seen some mudslides even from all of this. The one thing that changed for us really was right through here and everything south of Eugene, or south of Salem down into Eugene. This was all cut out the other day about a day or so ago, continuing to watch all of these areas. One of the things I really wanna show you here is how the flood stages have changed just over a few hour period. This is what I was working on when I was asked to come in and talk with you guys. As you can see, this is how the flood level, the numbers have been rising, they've been going up and down for us. Once we got into last night, into this morning, look how quickly that jumped up. And then we peaked here, and that's actually above what is considered the crest. It it to about 16 feet before it started to back off a bit as we went overnight and into today. So the latest numbers are still in the getting into that just the very bottom of that action required minor phase. We're at just a little more than 11, about 11.8 feet for that river level. It is projected to go down obviously back into a more calm place. However, we do have some more rain, another system that's coming in uh, this next weekend. The good news about this system that's different from what we had, this was the atmospheric river. This is that warm subtropical moisture and air that's come in, brought it up, and it's just not moving. That's been kind of the big thing about it is it's pointed right up toward us. It's not shifting in either direction. It's just basically pummeling all of the Pacific Northwest and down even into parts of Northern California. Looks like it's starting to finally shift to the southeast, and that's where our numbers are going down here. This one that's coming in this weekend is a good old fashioned winter rain. We're not expecting the warm air. In fact, the good news with this one is 
those snow levels, those are going to drop. Because it's been such warm air, our snow levels and our freeze levels have gone up so high, that's what's melted all of the snow at the ski resorts. This one is actually going to cool us down. We're going to see highs back into the 20s. We may even actually see some snow on the pass levels on as we go from basically tomorrow night looking at after dark. We could actually see some snow down. So that's good. A couple inches enough to open up the ski resorts right now. It's questionable. Maybe a few lifts will be able to have enough to do it, but not expecting it to be those 30 inches that we had before all of this happened. So that's going into there. A quick look ahead for you. Here we're looking at the potential for the rain that's going to be ahead. You notice if you've been watching with us how slowly all of these numbers are filling in. That's because we're getting down to just tenths of an inch of rain that we're expecting. And this is all the way through Thursday morning at one o'clock. If you were with us yesterday going into today, we were in the two and a half to three inches that we could see on some of these models. And we always check multiple. We don't just pick one and give you that number. We take these numbers, we look at them, we take what we know about our region, and that's where we give you our four forecasts for. That's also why the flood watch is dropping about four o'clock. That's why things are starting to calm down, why we're starting to see those river, le river levels getting back to something a bit more normal. That's yeah. what I have for you for what's coming up there, that, Greg. That is a lot of information right there. <laughs> it um, is. So, so talking about the atmospheric river, one, one mm -hmm. question I had, you know, you mentioned it's basically parked over us right mm -hmm. now or as it's starting to shift. So is it shifting to the southeast? Does that mean that there's going to be some issues down there? Mm, no, no, no okay. it, it's lightening up. Yeah, I'm okay. just going to see if you don't mind me kind of going on the yeah. fly here. No, let's, while, let's do it, absolutely. While we do this, I'm going to see if I can find for you real quick, I'll do a little. This picture, you mentioned the mountains. I yep. pulled up the ski bowl, that's our uh, ski bowl camera right there. You can see that, that was covered in snow last week and uh, not so much. Yeah, well, when I was working on Saturday, that right there, you could barely see the tops of the little bushes, the little trees. Um, and now that rain has just... And it's completely melted yeah. everything. Okay, I found it. Yeah, I had to stop and think and not just talk there. Let's see if I can get this for you. Okay. We're gonna try so to we can them. do a little, little on-the-fly forecasting for you. I yeah, absolutely. We and we are, we are live to you on Facebook, so if you do have a question, I can see if we can... Uh, Grab that here. I'll pull this. Kay. Get out of your. Yeah. I'll get out of your so, camera shot there. So if you'll see here, this right here, this is that atmospheric river that we've been watching. Look how far down to the south that it is from us. And then let's see if we can get this to move here through time. Is it going to work? Eh, maybe it's not. Oh, not so. It's still a pretty impressive graphic. Well, okay, so let me just is. say this. If you were with us and watching us this as it came in, basically we had this trough that was coming down, and when it drops down far enough, that bottom of that trough grabs all of that moisture, and then it just pushes it right up here, and we had a high pressure. Actually, you can kind of see it right here, all these white arrows that come up and over. That's where the high pressure was sitting, and so it's kind of a bully of the atmosphere. It tells the low pressure where it can and can't go. So it was sitting right there, parked, not wanting to move. So when that trough came down and grabbed all of that and pushed it right up to us, it just had nowhere to go. You know, it couldn't go anywhere because the high pressure just decided it wanted to be right there. Well, you can see here it is starting to shift, which means now this is breaking down and everything has dropped off. And now as you were asking, can you see, is it yeah. going to hurt anybody? It's not because it's keeping it down where it originally came from. Gotcha. Hopefully that answers your question. No, it's that does. Yeah, that that's that's interesting. I, I like that the weather is being called the bully there, the, the pressure point in the in the middle of it. The high pressure says yes. High pressure is a bully. No, you can't. Uh, well, thank you. You know, this is a lot to a lot to yes, cover right there, and you know, yeah, a lot to dissect right there. I mean, that's a lot of information. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, I'm, I'm taking a look here, but I think you answered a lot of questions that people have okay. about what's yeah. going on with this. So, um, so just to recap, the, you mentioned that the flood watch. That's through 4 o'clock. Through 4 o'clock today, today. 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. today. Okay, and then everything seems like it's going to start tapering down. Yep, and we have the first alert in place just through the morning, and then we kept it through once we came in, and we're just watching the updated models as they yeah. update every few hours. And we looked at it, and we thought, you know what? It's probably a good idea just to keep it through at least the lunch hour closer to where and when that flood watch will be lifted, and that's around 4 o'clock today. It'll taper off, and then everything that we have from this far out will just be a typical December. Temperatures, too, that's going to be the big thing because we had that record setting December yeah. day we made it to 67 and that was an all-time high record for December we broke a daily record yesterday wow and so we've been just super warm because of the air that comes you know with those atmospheric rivers 
we'll be back into like the mid 40s, upper okay. 40s, which is just right where we're supposed to be. Regular December coming up. Regular then. December. Okay. All right. Well, and I know we've got uh, reporters out all over the place too, covering some of the flooding and uh, you know out in the field wading through the waters to, to bring you reports on that. So we'll have all that coming up at 4 p.m. as well. And, uh, you know, of course, anything else, if it happens, we'll have it right here at kptv.com for the website. Um, Katie, thank you. Yeah, I'll be here anytime you need me. <laughs> awesome. And for all of you watching live, this is Fox 12 now, so we do go live every weekday at 1 p.m. And we cover all kinds of things, breaking news like this, talking about the weather, getting to have Katie come on here, um, or, you know, different segments. Uh, I am going to say, though, kind of topical with this. At 1.30 p.m., we're gonna have a doctor on who's gonna be talking about seasonal affective disorder. Yes, that is the, that is the, uh, the sad. The de- it is the, the, it yeah. is the sad, and it just I'll just bring this up, that each month we do a, you know, what do you expect in December, yeah. and you might you know, not be surprised to hear it's the coldest, wettest, darkest yeah. month that we have of the year, so. It's yep. fitting for right now. It can sometimes affect the mood. So uh, the doctor's going to come out and actually talk about that and talk about some ways to help you know, mitigate some of those effects of that, uh, some different things you can do to, to help boost the mood a little bit. So I'm looking forward to that coming up at 1.30. So join us right back wherever you're watching then at 1.30. If you're watching on the apps and the website, we'll continue on. We've got some more stuff for you in between then, but at 1.30 p.m. I will be back with the doctor to talk about that. So thanks for joining us. We'll be back in a bit with more Fox 12 Now. Thanks, Katie.